Glad you made it up here. Uh, my name is Lonnie Calvert. This is Jack Capel. Hello. And we're going to be present, co-presenting the lecture today, Past Life Awareness, the Key to a Better Life. We're both students and teachers at the Nearest Academy of Science in El Cajon, California. And um, we love what we do. It's so useful. Um, people, how, First of all, how many of you believe in reincarnation or past lives? Oh, good. Everybody. Okay. But I know everybody comes from a different perspective, you know, Eastern philosophy, uh, regressions, etc. And um, this will probably be a little bit different from everything that you've heard before. But one of the questions, you know, why do you need to know about past lives? Again, some people just learn for curiosity's sake, you know, you see a psychic and blah, 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 I wonder what I was. Or sometimes with Eastern religions you hear about reincarnating as a, you know, a dog or a flower. You know, there's all, all kinds of different things out there. Believe it or not, we've heard it all. <laughs> but anyway, um, and then again, you, sometimes people just tell you what you want to hear, you know, the nice things about it. But we're here to talk about the things of why learning about your past lives can help you in this lifetime. Um, first of all, if you think about all the things that are going on in the world, um, the, the majority of people, I would say, are dependent on outside sources for their health and happiness. In other words, if only um, you know there weren't any radical Islamists, you know, if only everybody was had a democratic society, or if only everybody were Christians, you know, then I would be happy in the world. It would be a better place. But you don't have any control over that, right? You know, so in a sense, they're setting them up themselves up to be victims, or you know, they're. Um, they don't have any control over what's happening in the world, okay? Or you have incurable diseases, or you have problems that you're, again, looking to an external source to solve, whether it's a doctor, or, you know, if only we had so-and-so president, or uh, the therapist, or the priest, or whoever. And what I love about Unarius is it puts the control in my hands. It provides the information and the tools so that I can resolve my own problems. And I think it was Gandhi who said, you know, be the change that you want to see in the world. In other words, if I change myself, the world and everything else, my relationships, the problems, other people, the world changes with me. Okay, so, and what's nice about that is I have control over my own life. You know, I can make changes with myself. I've, I don't know if you've all tried this. I've tried to change other people, and they make change for a while. But um, you really can't change other people. But when I change myself, as I said, everything, everybody, all the situations change. So uh, probably the, the biggest reason to want to know about your past lives is so that you can have different results in the future. Because if you keep doing the same thing over and over, you'll keep having the same results. But if you track down what were the original causes of you know why I have this particular problem in my life, you can change those um, negative energy waveforms, which we'll be talking about later, um, that are directing the cancerous cells in your body, or um, the problem, what's causing a problem with a person at work that you never did anything to, and yet, you know, they hate you, or they're mistreating you, or whatever, and that seems not to have a cause in this lifetime, right? I just met this person, or I've done everything right, why are they treating me this way? Well, that's where you start to look into past lives of, you know, there isn't just one life to live, as my father would say. Um, you know, we have relationships with everybody. There's no strangers. You know, we've, we've met everybody somewhere on, on our pathway, on our journey, on our spiritual journey. Um, we've had different kinds of relationships with people um, where uh, our, our mother may have been our child in a, in a different lifetime or a husband might have been, um, uh, I don't know, your, your brother. So you, you start to see these um, interrelationships explaining uh, the relationship that you have today when you see your past relationships with them in, in previous lifetimes. So we're going to cover some of the aspects of um, when I first, how do I find out about my past lives and then when I do find out, you know, what some of my past lives are, you know, how can I apply that knowledge to resolve problems in the present and that's that's the benefit, that's the key to a better life, is when you can resolve your problems, right? And you're not dependent on um, outside sources or uh, other things changing around you for your happiness and your health. Did you want to say something? Hello. Yeah, I'd just like to add that, uh, you know, with what you said about why we want to learn about our past is, uh, well, we always want to grow, right? We always want to learn. And, 
uh, have you ever heard the phrase that this lifetime is like day in school? You know, so all these ex experiences that we're having while we're living here are things that we're really faced with. We're presented with an opportunity. We can either do good things with it, or let it, or just let it go. And the uh, thing about letting it go is it doesn't really go away. You know, we're going to get into a little bit about how these things are. You know, probably everybody is aware that whatever you've done in the past life is a part of you. So when something just seems to go away, well, it's not really gone. So we we talk about past lives because we've discovered that when you find the source of where your problems lie, you get a healing, and it can be dramatic, but it also moves you forward. It frees you. You have a different level of, uh, of your uh, experience now. You've learned something, and you've, you've been educated. You know? So you want to do something, right? Uh, new. You always want to see something like in the month or next year, whatever, you want to learn something new, and just feel that, you know, that growth. So that's really what it's about. When you find these past lives, and figure out how they're influencing you in the, in the present, you know, they can really make a difference. Uh, like I know for one thing, I still have a little bit of a, you know, when I'm up front talking in front of people, but it used to be that if you asked me to get up in front of folks, I'd probably run out the back door, you know. And that was really kind of stifling me because I wanted to talk, so I had all these you know, feelings, that, you know, but it was building up frustration. So I saw how, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to find out what was keeping me from being able to express myself now. And I've seen the you know, how, how nice it is to change because it's, I mean, that's how you talk to everybody. That's just, you know, that's life. I mean, if you can't communicate, you're really in your own little, you know, circular box, you know. So it, it, that made a difference, you know. Really. So that's, a, that's an example I thought I'd throw out there as far as, you know, with that moving forward. Now it freed me up. And the other thing that was very interesting is that I'm, now that I was free to express, I learned new things about myself. <coughs> you know, I, well, I never knew I would maybe be a little obnoxious at times <laughs> because I just say what comes to my mind now without worrying. Because <laughs> you know, it went from worrying too much about what I was going to say to not worrying at all. And uh, I had to you know, learn. You know, so I had to learn to really, reel it in. I've been this kind of person in the past, or whatever, a little obnoxious. So it's a very interesting uh, thing when you start getting into the how these past uh, express and really affect you.